Traveling with hubby, he's going to work and I'm tagging along. Thankfully, the children are on holiday, so they are not following us. He took them already to his parents' place, that's my in laws' place, and they'll be spending the whole weekend and another week, like a week plus, with them. And yeah, guys, I'm also going there to work actually. I have a couple of things I need to take care of, and like every day, I, I've already scheduled so kind of work to do editing you know and everything i've planned my time i just hope things work out as i have planned it already promises to be an exciting trip we're traveling tomorrow and i just started packing this evening i don't want to forget anything i'm taking a lot along simply because i'm going to work i mean my hard drive my camera everything i need to vlog to edit my files and all that I just pray I don't forget anything because I'm going to cry. Guys, something happened to me this evening, which was very unfortunate. I think this is the second time it's happening. Thank God I don't experience it often because, uh, guys, I cried. I cried. See, I was editing. And you know those type of videos where you have two videos you are layering over the other? They are not straightforward, especially if you are editing with a phone like I do. And so after all the cutting, like I was cutting two layers for everything and deleting, you know, I was done cutting and I just had to readjust the cropping, you know, put some effects and maybe background music and I'll be done. Like I was 80% done. I was rushing because I needed to bring the boys home and pack their bags so that they can go to granny's place. But so as in that rush, I just felt, okay, let me leave this finishing process. I'll get back to it. Let me go pick my kids first only for me to click on exit and then the app requested are you exiting and saving or, or ex exiting directly and i was like mm, i am not saving it yet you know what they meant by saving was not exporting but i had exporting in mind i don't know what happened guys so i just click save without or exit without saving guys that was how I lost about 20 minutes of edited video. So I was pained. I, I, do, I couldn't just believe that just happened to be again. I cried my eyes out. But thank God I'm out of it. And I am fine now. I am okay. In fact, I just left the work. I abandoned the work because I'm not just in the mood. And I will do it tomorrow. Or if I'm in the mood this evening. The truth is I don't want to force it. Like I had a goal to get it done. And post it this evening so even if i did it today <laughs> i can't post it again it's already getting late timing is very important for posting for me um at this stage so i just left it like that the video is not for this channel anyway it's for my swing channel and um, it's been six days i last put up any video on that channel i am paying but guys i'm texting I'm not, I'm not just in the mood i'm going to pack my bags then i'll watch a movie if possible life has to continue i can't keep myself see who is in the happy j already simply because the boys are not around and i'm kind of in a relaxed mood like i said i don't want to stress myself the next day I just bought Sims. It was on sale for 99. Man, what a weird sign of the times. Need to keep busy. Trying to eat the hours away. Who know that I like Milky Way? Wake up, I'm ready to go. Yeah, feeling so good in control. Yeah. Hi, guys. Got to worry about 7 a.m. <laughs> Because we left home like past five. We we're envisaging some hold up on the road and you know police checkpoints and all that. But thankfully this journey was super smooth. We are to worry. Um hobby's hotel reservation is by twelve by twelve PM 
and we are here by 7 it's currently 8 a.m he has gone to work so i'm just here waiting around for him i love 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 the scenery here if i have an opportunity to walk around maybe i would i'll have loved to actually take some pictures here but i don't like what i'm wearing <laughs> I mean, actually thought I would live here and, you know, go sightseeing or shopping or something and look around, but I don't think I would do that. I necessarily have work to do, so between now and 12, I will try and edit a video and put it up on the channel, I think on my swing channel for this evening. <clears throat> Who sent me? Who sent me? The concealer added too, too much. Let's use this too. Okay. I finally started getting bored, and I have decided to just do my makeup and step out. Me walk around. I'm not sure I want to go elsewhere just yet, but at least I can explore the compound. Oh, why am I just searching for every damn thing? Shit. I have a table before them let's do see i've been working on learning makeup at least let me be able to do some things for myself by myself without having to go to a makeup artist first so i now know about contouring and all of that i still need to get some products i mean some products okay highlighter and all of those things to make my makeup look more proish but i have made progress in the past couple of months this my powder is a shitty powder like one of the worst powders i have ever used definitely one of the worst but sometimes when i mistakenly buy something because i don't like wasting money unnecessarily if i buy that thing and it's worth some money in my pocket i'll just tell myself can you should have done more research so Unless I kind of punish myself, I don't know if that's self-punishment, but I like to still use it. Like if I buy a wrong shade of foundation, most likely I'll go ahead and use it. Even if I buy another one, I don't just want that money to waste. So I'll go ahead and use it or give it out, but not dispose it. So this powder is not outrightly bad, bad. Like, I don't like it, it gets soiled easily, it's not, I don't know, I don't just like it. The people at the supermarkets, I have known their trick now, like, a few promoters give them some products to push, probably they pay them. So when you come and you ask for something, they will tell you they don't have it, even without searching well, and they will start suggesting other products to you. Like, did I bought this one, all the products they were suggesting to me had, let me cover the name had this product name on it so it was when i got to say how come i'm asking for concealer you are suggesting this i'm asking for powder you are suggesting this product and it's not as if the product is great or anything but i now know their trick they have done it to me twice and it won't happen again once they don't have what i'm looking for i live there because i already know some things that work for me but when it's say, ah but you are using this your face is oily why don't you try this one this is a great product start suspecting them they don't have my interest at heart they are just you know promoting the company that paid them or something they don't have it i go elsewhere there are many makeup um there are many cosmetic stores in town I'll stop listening to their suggestion yes i think i look presentable now let's see if i can get some pictures and i have just like 30 minutes then i'll be free to go to the hotel i don't take much like i said i don't like my clothes as such for pictures i feel like such a boring person why didn't i just live here and you know go have fun in town i'm such a boring person legit so i was able to get some cool shots walk around i haven't done so let me still take my walk to the park and the way they have been clearing this compound, I feel like asking them, wait, so the reason why you guys constructed this compound, is it so that you can clear it, you know? The way they have been clearing everything, trimming flowers that are already trimmed, I 
feel like the sole aim of this compound is to clear it. Kind of stuck here. I'm currently at the hotel where the company usually makes reservation for my husband, and I couldn't check in <laughs> because I'm not supposed to be in this hotel. So apparently, they are doing some maintenance stuff, 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 and the company now make their reservation with another hotel. I didn't even check the paper. My husband didn't check either. We just thought, okay, normal thing will come here and now he's busy at work and he may not be able to come here and I checked for the name of the hotel on Google map I know I can find my way there but I said let me wait for him to close except if he calls me and tells me to you know go do it I just told him not to worry that I'll take care of myself and you know the work I have been postponing uh, I have started doing it already but my battery is down so I'm considering going to the reception here they're actually very nice they told me to you know hang around in the reception and all that so i'm considering going back there to charge this phone so that i can continue working but it's looking like i'll be stuck here till 5 pm and it's currently 1 30 so i had better make good use of that time hotel room um, it's a new one I haven't been here before although it's bigger finer apparently this belongs to the company itself kind of so it's more like a flat it's actually I don't know like a duplex in a block of flats I don't know what that is called um, there's a sitting room downstairs and three rooms upstairs so we are taking not three rooms no three suits upstairs we are taking one of the suits i think we are all to share the city room downstairs something like that but i'll give a full room tour maybe in this vlog or the other one oh my god my back just moved <laughs> and for a moment my heart skipped a bit so um i'll probably give you a, a tour tomorrow this place is nice but somehow i'm feeling like my freedom has been compromised the layout of security we had to pass through before getting here it's already showing me that it's not going to be easy to, to just go out and come in as you like and well um, I'm an inside person anyway so I don't really mind there's a swimming pool in the compound but the way the security is so tight I'm thinking they won't even allow blogging or anything like that but we'll see how it goes so yeah 